Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to show you how to create this beautiful diamond in Hannah by using 3D shape effects and enhancing its material. Then, we'll bring it to life by adding states and events to create a smooth transition animation. And before we wrap up, we'll show you how to get this exact template and many more for free directly inside the app. Without further ado, let's jump in. First, let's create the diamond object. We'll start by turning a basic shape into a 3D object, then apply a glass material. Then add two more diamond shapes to enhance the inner and outer diamond materials. Let's begin by going to the top toolbar and selecting the vector tool, draw a hexagon shape. Next, change the corner value to 70 to round the edges. Add a fill color, we'll keep the default for now, we don't need a stroke, so feel free to remove it. Then adjust the size slightly. Nice. Now we have our base hexagon shape. Next, let's turn it into a 3D object. Go to the effects section in the inspector panel on the right, click the plus button, and then choose 3D shape from the effect dropdown. Now the hexagon becomes a 3D object, simple and fast. Let's go to Geometry to adjust the scale to 3.3. Set the depth to 210. Set the bevel size to 52. And choose Flat Rounded as the bevel type. Set the Flat Round value to 0.16. Then move it to the position by dragging the diamond. Or adjust the rotation here directly, X to minus 20, Y to 25, and Z to 20. Before continuing, let's add a text layer and move it underneath the hexagon so we can better see the material. Adjust the text color and font as you want. Select the hexagon and rename it Base. Now let's adjust the material. Lower the roughness to 0.07. Keep the default metalness, increase reflectivity to 3, set glass to 0.91, aberration to 4, keep the default thickness, reduce refraction to 1.3, and blur to 0.09. Next, enable environment map. Environment maps provide image-based lighting and reflections using an HDRI texture. Here, choose the image named Studio Dark. Nice, this already looks great. To add more sparkle and a treasure-like feel, let's add more diamond layers. Duplicate the diamond shape by pressing Command plus D and rename it Outer. We'll use it to add more shine to the surface. Let's go to 3D Shape, set flat round to zero, smooth angle to 1, and subdivision to 1. Reduce roughness to 0, increase metalness to 0 0.74, set reflectivity to 3.12, and refraction to 1.6. Add another effect layer and choose Layer Blur. We'll keep the default settings for now. Reduce the shape transparency to 40%, set the blend mode to screen, and increase the blur to 29. Now it has shiny details on the surface. Looks great. Duplicate the base shape again using Command plus D, move it below the base diamond and rename it Inner. This layer will enhance the inner reflections. Go to the 3D shape settings. Set the scale to 2.78, bevel size to 38, Bevel type 2 flat, smooth angle to 1, keep the subdivision set to 12, and we can adjust the material a bit. Reduce reflectivity to 1.3. Adjust the environment map rotation slightly to enhance the shine. Y to 2.89, Z to 2.67. Now we have a beautiful, highly reflective diamond. Next, let's bring it to life with animation. We can see the reflections shifting across the surface while the refraction dynamically distorts the background, 
creating a more realistic and vivid result. Select the base diamond and add a new state. In the second state, go to 3D shape effect and change the Y rotation in transform to 385. Add an event and set it to start. Add a transition action. Set it from base state to state. Change the easing to linear. Set the duration to four seconds and enable infinite loop. Let's preview it. It looks pretty nice. You can apply the same animation to the other diamond. Add a new state and adjust the Y rotation as well. You can either add the event manually and set it up like before, or simply copy and paste the event. Now let's add the animation to the last layer. Add an event, then paste the event. Update the target object to inner, set the transition from the base state to the state. We don't need the first start event, so we can just delete it. Finally, preview the full effect. As the diamond rotates, the reflections glide across the surface while the refraction subtly bends the background, resulting in a more realistic and visually rich effect. This template scene is already published on the Discover page. You can open Spline, head to Discover, and click the scene to explore the full setup and structure. Discover is more than just an inspiration gallery. It's a curated collection of high quality scenes ranging from icons and presentations to motion designs, 3D objects, and interactive website examples designed to help you learn by exploring real projects. Each scene is fully editable, allowing you to break it apart, study how effects are built, and understand how materials, lighting, and interactions work together. With Discover, you can also explore the latest features in HANA, including the new 3D shape effects. Simply pick a template, customize it, and start creating your own designs right away. That's all for today's video. If this video helped you out, give it a quick like. It really helps the channel reach more creators. Subscribe for more spline tutorials and practical tips so you don't miss what's next.